Welcome to Tabletop Battle. This will be the uh, second Blood Angels game of our 40 gay. 40 gay? I did it again! <laughs> oh, that's been done before. 40k campaign. God, people are gonna hold that against me forever. Uh, first game uh, saw me end up with 88 points left over, so I have upgraded some units and bought some weapons. I sort of got right in the middle of what you did and what Svein did. Because you upgraded units, he bought more models and got a free upgrade. Uh, while I did a little bit of both. Uh, I have chosen to move to tile number 7. Let's uh, just move in closer here. That is this tile. And Joachim, can you point at the uh, tile for me at the edge of the forest where the 7... Yeah. I want... No, I am right here is where we're at at the moment. Yeah. In the desert. Uh, I'm trying to move down towards uh, the Eldar because I want to crush a swine. We both are going towards the Eldar. Oh, let's. Uh, let's I'm at 14, so uh, around the river side. Let's, let's make a sandwich. Um, so yeah, uh, you have new orders from the hive minds uh, that differs from the game that I had, uh, and they will well, there will be different orders each game, and if anyone else wants to join in and help the hive mind that is controlling the turnings now uh, then just join our uh, Facebook page uh, address will be uh, down at the bottom here uh, or add uh, comments to this video uh, I just want to say one thing because we've been uh, or I've been told in comments on some of the other videos that uh, what showing up with unpainted chaos bikes in a campaign of so few points uh, and while I find it uh, that we shouldn't play with unpainted models, this is a progressive campaign. Uh, every time we take the field, you will see new models from each army painted, uh, and the armies will grow, uh, and eventually we'll have more terrain that we're working on. So that's why we're seeing unpainted stuff, because we're painting it, uh, at a very slow pace while we uh, yeah. in between uh, games. Yeah, also uh, we have uh, other armies uh, or stuff that we want to bring to a big tournament in Christian Sun. Yep, in September in Norway. Yeah. So I have so we're working on that too. Balls to finish before them, so yes. Good luck with that. Thank you. Let's move to unit introduction. The Blood Angels Force is still led by my level 1 Psyker, hopefully upgraded to level 2 if I get the points to it, at one point. Uh, we have a 7-man uh, Assault Squad now, I've added two more. Uh, this Plasma Pistol is actually a Flamer because I managed to break the model with the Flamer. That is a sign in the background. And this chap, he actually now has a power weapon. So upgraded uh, with a weapon, mo uh, more models, and a flamer. Then we have the tried and tested stern gun unit with uh, several different types of ammo. We have increased the tactical squads by one man each. And this guy is wielding a flamer to barbecue on it. That's my upgrades. Uh, I also rolled for spells and warlord traits. He got, uh, I think it was speed of the Primarch. Uh, he has plus one initiative. And he also got the, what is it called? Uh, Unleash Rage uh, Psychic Power. Both of them are Warp Charge 1. Uh, and of course, all psychers also know the uh, instant kill thingy. I don't remember what it is. But odds of using it are low, as I'd rather have uh, my Primaris or Unleash Rage, because they're both quite decent with Blood Angels. So that's it for them. Let's uh, move on to the game and see what I face. That's what I face. But he's looking down at his book. Look in. Yes! Hello! So, first, in the Tyranus uh, Force introduction, I have four warriors. It's on special upgrades. That you won't tell me what it is. No, because you've been secret. you've been told not to tell me. Yes, yes. Then I have three warriors uh, playing uh, with the Bowers and Skyding Towns. Sounds like you're ordering a hamburger. Three, yeah. <laughs> three point order, please. Yep. 
Uh, then it's 15 Termagants uh, times 2. Yep. And? And 10 Hormagants. 10 Hormagants. Hormagants. Yes. Uh, 2 so... No. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> gene stealers. I, I'm glad this isn't a bunch of zoanthropes. So yeah. this is 10 gene stealers <laughs> and that is 2 zoanthropes. 2 zoanthropes. You, yeah. Uh, also, one thing that needs to be mentioned is that um, each time the Tyranids take the field, uh, there are different orders from the hive mind. Yep. Uh, so in this battle, when a patrol is, is discovers or is discovered, apparently they don't run and fetch the closest unengaged unit. They do something else, which you won't tell me. Uh, other than that, let's ch just take a quick look at the battlefield again. Uh, the forest. I'll show you later on the, uh, or again on the, uh, on the tiles uh, exactly where we are. Now I've chosen to deploy in here. Uh, that is a strategic choice because then I'm in the forest, so we can't hide lots of crap in here. Uh, so I don't have to chase in there. Uh, other than that, it's uh, very rocky and lots of dunes that are impassable terrain. And they all block line of sight. Uh, but a very open battlefield, uh, so good chances of drawing a lot of stuff at the same freaking time. So let's get to Bloody Nose deployment and round one. So, this. Bloody Nose turn one. Yeah, and that's I've, the deployment. I've deployed, uh, and as usual, we're just gonna, I'm just going to tell you where I'm going to go. There's no point in me showing moving models unless nope. there's a testing wall. Uh, this unit is going to move. Well, without the HQ, uh, they're going to move up this way. Mm -hmm. uh, this unit is going to move over here. Sure. Uh, HQ is going to, well, actually, he's going to go that way too. He might as well join the unit and go that join way. Unit. Uh, unit is going to move up here. Yeah. And assault squad is going to jump up this way. So we'll be back after I've done that and see if I see something special. Cool. So uh, this is where I ended up with my movements. And do I see anything new, Joaquin? No. Nothing. And remember, even though the hills aren't high, they're considered to be very high, so they block line of sight. Show how high. Yeah, they're roughly this high. <laughs> uh, so since I don't see anything new, I'm gonna do uh, two. I'm gonna do two run moves. Yeah. On which unit? Uh, well, actually, we're gonna go to psychic phase first. Not that I think I'm gonna need it, so I might as well not use my psychic powers. Uh, I'm gonna run with this unit mm -hmm. and that unit. That unit, yeah. So that unit Actually, first. I'm gonna run with the uh, assault squad as well. Yeah. So, so which unit first? This one. Additional two. Assault. Additional six. Other marine six. Oh. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do, and we'll be right back after I've done that to see if that moves or those moves reveal anything new. Turn it. Yeah. Turn it. Turn it. So after my uh, movement of or my run movement, I see nothing new. Uh, he had me check though, so I suspect I'm getting close to something. Uh, this area has the stink of bugs. That's why I brought flamers to this barbecue. Uh, so I'm guessing I will see some action. I might even see some action after he's done moving his patrols in his, that happens in his movement phase. So we'll be back with turn it round one. So turn in turn one is now in effect, and we have 15 shooty bugs yeah. that uh, were patrolling. That's yeah. why they suddenly appeared, and I didn't see them the turn before. Uh, but they spent their movement patrolling to that space. Mm -hmm. You have orders for these, don't you? I do. What are you going to do now? They will try to shoot. If they're out of range, they will uh, charge or run. So they are definitely out of range, since they only have yes. 12 inch. So then they will run. Run move. Uh, so roll a dice for that. We do casino dice. A 5. And yep. if I don't remember incorrectly, these have a special rule that allows them to run faster. Might have been the other gaunt type. Uh, do they have a adrenal glands, my friend? What? We'll be right back after each of that. <laughs> and we apologize for that, but that's what happens when we don't actually play nids ourselves. Uh, so we're going to have more control on that. Uh, of course, they don't have Bounding Leap, which is the rule we were looking for. 
So they will just run five inches closer to the unit that they saw, which also is slightly a conundrum for me because I'll be out of range for charging them, but I'll be within range to shoot them a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to have to make a difficult choice here because if I don't kill enough, they will kill my Marines. And that's the only unit I found, wasn't it? Yes. The rest of your stuff is still out of line of sight. So we'll be back with Blood Angel's movement in turn two. Okay, so my movement will be this unit is going to move six inches towards the Neds. Uh, Stern Guard and HQ is going to move six inch inches down to get some more shooty assistance. Assisting. Assisting. Uh, this Ooh. tactical squad is going to yeah. try to move through the, the bush. I don't want to. Actually, they don't need to do that. I can just walk around. And this uh, assault squad is going to jump over and land around here. I'm going to sweep around. Sure. Uh, so that's my moves. So we'll be back after I'm done doing that. Okay. So this is where I ended up after my movements. Yeah. Uh, so I, this whole squad is going to shoot at them. Uh, the flamer won't reach, uh, but I'll have ten shots with rapid fire, and I'll have three for maybe five guys that can shoot here with normal shooting and everyone else is just following to assist but before we get to the uh, shooting we're gonna do the psychic phase yeah. so I'm gonna roll for my warp charges that is four that also gives you four dice to, to dispel sure uh, because your cypress is not revealed yet so you don't get anything for them so I have a total of five because my psychic dude is level one I'm going to cast um, the uh, Unleash Rage mm -hmm. on this unit, uh, so that if I manage to charge, highly doubt it because I hope to kill this front line, and they get extra attacks. Cool. So I'm going to use three dice. I need a one four plus. So I got one six. You want to dispel with everything you got? I do. The other power I can cast is only available for my uh, myself, and it's... Yeah, you dispelled it. Yeah. So I'm going to get that. All right. Uh, we'll cut there and we'll be back with shooting after we'll check rangers and stuff. Okay, so we have 10 shots. Uh, we have to exclude the flamer, obviously. Uh, at rapid fire on these guys. Yeah. Uh, and we have four guys. This guy is blocked by a line of sight here. Uh, it says the hill is yay high. Uh, so four guys that will shoot through my own unit at your units, which will provide you a cover save. Uh, so, 10 shots, hitting on a 3. That wasn't good at all. That sucked. And I will be killing you on 3s. Because mm -hmm. you have a toughness of 3, I have a strength of 4. So that's 3 dead. That's the 3 in front. Yeah. And then I have 4 shots, hitting on 3s. So that's... Two hits, wounding on threes. That's two, and you have a five plus cover save. You save one, and yes. this one's dead. Uh, I that is outside of twelve, so I'm not going to be able to charge you. Uh, so obviously, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. And that brings us to turn it, turn two. Yes. So my measly shooting display leaves two millennials alive for comfort. Yep. And this is where they ended up after movements. Mm -hmm. What's your plan? I'm going to shoot at you. Okay. So we measured that you have six guys that are within 12. Six guys. Uh, what is your ballistic skill? Um, three. Yep. So that means you're hitting on fours. Hitting on fours. Okay. One hit. Standard mm -hmm. Joachim rolling. Well. Strength of four, I have a toughness of four, so wounding on four. Whew! Okay. Are you gonna assault too? Totally. That's totally. Uh, what the high man, the high mind. High mind. High man has okay. decided. Let's see how far you get. Yeah. Not close enough, not even <laughs> near it, but I still get to shoot at you. Yeah, uh, okay. So the flamer gets an automatic D3 hits. Oh. I need some of my dice. Automatic D3, so that's three hits. Mm -hmm. That's gonna kill on A3, so that's two dead. Then we have two, four, I need six more dice, you okay? Six. 
uh, rapid fire on the remaining uh, bolters that will hit on six. So that is one, one six, okay. killing on a three, that's a one. Nope. So that was two dead. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's it. Turnits don't take tests or anything because they're they, fearless. They are. That was turnit movement turn two, but I also movement turn three, and I need to hurry up. Okay, so my movements, uh, these guys are going to move closer. Yeah. Uh, they are going to follow mm -hmm. roughly around here. The assault marines are going to jump over. Yeah. And these guys are going to move up this way. Yeah. So we'll be back after that's done. Sure. I see lots of nids. Well, not lots, not too dangerous. This uh, gene steel unit is slightly worrying since I'm out of reach with my gunfire at the moment. Uh, but this situation will be resolved quickly by the grace of the Emperor's fire. Get it? Fire? Open fire? Fire, yeah. okay. fire, fire! I'm gonna start with... Uh, I'm gonna start by shooting these guys. Mm -hmm. All of them can... Yeah, all of them can see. All of them are within short. Yep. So that'll be 12 shots. 2, 4, 6, 8. 12, mm -hmm. no flame in that unit. Oh. They will all hit on a 3. Okay. Because the weapon that was 6 kill 4. One miss. That's more like it. They will die on a 3. Because I have a strength of 4, you have a toughness of 3. And your armor save is not good enough to save you. Mm -hmm. So that is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 dead. 1, 2, Three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. The only good nid is a dead nid. Uh, then we'll... Actually, I don't want to shoot them with these guys. I want to charge. You know what? why? Because if these guys move six mm -hmm. and roll high enough, they can charge them. Charging me, if I charge them, then I get a little bit further away from these guys because I really don't want to fight them because they will kill me. So I'm not going to shoot anymore with these guys. Well, my dice rolls, so you don't know yeah, to they, worry. Even the sun shines on a Joachim's ass at point sometimes. This guy, or this unit, is going to shoot at them. Uh, you need to pause because we need to find a flamer. So the flamer is here, and best I can get is five models. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that. That's five automatic hits, killing on threes. So that's five dead. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have ten shots. That is uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, hitting on threes. And killing on... Threes. Yeah, strength of four, toughness of three. Totally. So that is... Dead nid, dead nid unit. There we go. That leaves them with nothing to shoot at, so they are going to run. Yeah. How far They will run... <laughs> whopping one inch. That's it for them. Uh, we move swiftly to the assault phase. Uh, because well, there's not much else to do. They're going to assault. Uh, there's uh, two inches, so I don't need to roll. Mm -hmm. But I'll do it just for kicks. Uh, you never need to roll. Yeah. I uh, used my uh, assault, not uh, assault, my uh, jump packs in the uh, movement phase so I don't get hammer wrath. Because mm -hmm. if you only move six during the movement phase and you have these jet, jet packs, then you use them in the assault phase instead and you <laughs> thrust into them and cause a wound before combat starts. Uh, what's the initiative of your boys? Should have four, I think. Yeah, so strike at the same time. Shit, didn't think of that. Okay, we'll be back after tallying up how many dice we get to kill each other with. Yeah. So, I was lying. They yes. have initiative five. Five! Yes. And my initial reaction to this was, what? Five in initiative and two attacks from each one of these guys? So I should have attacks? I should have shot them. You did. You yeah. should. Uh, well, your weapon skill is really irrelevant because we know it's not twice as much, or I don't have twice as much plus one, yeah. so you'll be hitting me matter. on a four. Yes. Ah! 
So that's one six. Oh yeah, six. And you'll be wounding me on a five because you have a strength of three. Oh, oh bloody hell. Let's see that dead marine. It's a normal marine. It's a living marine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that leaves me with this number of attacks for my regular marines. Yeah. And these three attacks for my sergeant with a power weapon. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll give the camera over to you. Feels like I'm playing turnips or orcs, but I'm not. I'm playing blood angels. We have the same amount of attacks ish. Uh, I have a weapon skill of four, you have a weapon skill of three. three. That means I hit you on a three. Mm. That's slightly above average. There we go. Uh, that's a two. Now I have Furious Charge. Uh, so on the charge, my strength goes up to uh, five. You have a toughness of three, so I'll be wounding you on a two because mine is two above yours. Yeah. So that is that amount of saves. Then I do the guy who don't get a save against. Mm -hmm. He will hit on two, and he will kill two instantly. Yeah. So that means you are left with. That number of saves, that is two, four, six, eight saves in total. No, don't. Well, two, four, six, eight. Don't screw up my dice. Well, I'll, yeah. say, uh, I'll already destroy them for okay. you. So. And you, you died. I died. Didn't save a single one. Oh, consolidation. Yeah. Hi. Yes, a five. <laughs> I can get away from those gene stealers. Uh, that was the blood animals assault. Well, and what way are the guys going to move? Away from them. So, yeah. I think in that direction, nah, in that direction. Yeah. So, we'll be right back. So, turn it, turn three. Uh, controls are moved. Yeah. And we have one GSLR unit. Now, uh, what was the order from the high mind on this one? Uh, to use my brain. To use your brain. <laughs> or use your brain. Yeah. Uh, the turnits are not within range of charging. Yeah. So, you basically get to control them as if you were playing them yourself as Joachim. So what would you do? I would move them this way. Yep, so you can move them uh, six inches. Yeah. And you can also run because they don't have a shooting weapon. If you want to run. I want to run. Yep, so you want to roll that run dice straight away. That's one, and that is a three for a total of six. Mm -hmm. So you'll do that move, and we'll be back with my movement phase in turn four. Yes. Start turn four, and declaring my moves. The assault marines are going to uh, walk up six inches. Mm -hmm. uh, to be rough, actually, they're going to walk around six inches here. And they're going to jump? Nope. Nope. Uh, these guys. Yeah. Actually, yeah, they're going to jump actually a little further. These guys are going to walk up six and hopefully be within shooting range uh, of the gene stealers. This unit is going to move up six to shoot some nids. Because the hill is down here, so I know I'm going to have range on that. And in case they screw up and die, they're going to follow to to back up. Uh, that's my moves. We'll be right back after that's done. So, this is where they ended up. With, uh, well, everything that I wanted to be able to shoot is able to shoot. You've checked line of sight and ranges. And you've seen nothing new. Nothing new, unfortunately. I wanted to lure something out. Because well, we only have 10 rounds to uh, complete the scenario. And we are on 4, so... Yeah, round 4. Time is ticking. I'm um, going to move to uh, Psychic Phase. Yeah. I'm going to generate 5. Wait, wait, that's a there, lot. There it is. Yeah. Plus 1 for a total of 6. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cast um, the Unleash Rage on this unit. I'm going to use uh, 4 dice to do that. Mm -hmm. That is two, so I manage that. Oh, you want to try to dispel? Yes. We need two sixes. New. No. So they now have a rage. So when you when you assault them, I expect you will. They will have. A, a, well, actually, no, they won't have because that's only when you or when I assault crap. Well, that was useless. <laughs> Didn't remember that. Okay, I'm gonna move to shooting. Yes. Um, Everyone can shoot uh, except the flamer, but they are all out of uh, rapid fire. Mm -hmm. So that's five shots from them. I'm gonna do that first. Uh, 
I will be hitting you on a three. Three. That's three hits. And I will be killing you on a... Hmm, what's the toughness of Gene Steelers? We'll be right back. Gene Steelers have a toughness of four. Four. So you're dying on a four. That's one dead. The closest one would be probably that one. This squad, six right no, six rifles. I've been playing bolt action too much. Six bolt guns. Uh, will is within range. They will be hitting you on the exact same. Bolt guns. So that is three hits again, killing you on fours. That's three dead. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. So we're feeling a little better, but there's still there's still many. Uh, I will run with this unit. Three. The assault squad. Two. And I'm gonna keep it at that. So we'll be back when your movement phase. Turn four and show where everything ended up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, my gene series, that's, uh, guys that are left, they're going to run up or walk. They're going to move six. Charge. Try, yep. Try to charge. So, six inches move. It's right there. Guy in the front. Yep. And, and uh, nothing new mm -hmm. appeared. No. So, the patrol is still out of line of sight. Dude, your dudes are falling over. Mm -hmm. Let's straighten this cloth out. I want to pre-measure. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, how much do you need? You need a... Wood. Where, where is uh, the... Yeah, a nine. Nine? Nine. Yep, so you need nine, and you have fleet. I do. So you can re-roll. Yes. Okay, nine inches. That is seven, so you're gonna re-roll. Go on. <laughs> but I still get to barbecue your ass. So that is a two... Uh, can you check? Yeah, if you're in the yeah, yeah, nine, yeah. then I'm within rapid fire. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That was just bad luck. You okay? Hitting on sixes. That's three. And killing on fours. So that's three dead. Mm -hmm. D three hits from the flamer. That's two. Killing on. Okay. So that's one more. That was a six. So one more. One. Leaving you a whopping two. Two. Now they're not that scary anymore. No. Uh, we'll be back with Blood Angels turn five. Okay, so my movement phase, and I really need to pick it up. Uh, the tactical squad is going to take care of the nids. Uh, everything else is going to move up as fast as they can. So, mm -hmm. Salt Marines, tactical squad, and Stone Guard squad. Yeah. So we'll be back after I've done moving. Mm -hmm. So you see nothing new. Crap. It's all desert Beep. still. Beep! I want to see stuff because I don't have time to be chasing stuff. I'm in turn five, I only have five turns left, and I got well, half the table to clear, and I need to additionally spend a round or two to kill stuff. Yes. Let's start with the simple things. I'm going to have this guy flame these two. Mm -hmm. Two out of my kits, nothing. And I have two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten shots. I will be hitting you on a three. And I will be killing you on a four. Mm -hmm. You died. Oh, That's the nids gone. Uh, other than that, since I don't see anything, everything else is going to run. The stern guard unit. Three. Uh, tactical squad, two, assault marines, four. And I'll do that, and we'll be back with turn it's turn five. Hmm. So, so, nothing! Absolutely nothing in yeah. the turn in turn five, so we just move. The scouting unit just mm, awaits everything. Uh, so, we well. continue to move everything up. So. Uh, tactical squad, I'm gonna move six. Stern guard, I'm gonna move six. Yeah. Uh, the assault marines, I think you've got something behind that thing. They're gonna jump over. No, I can't jump over. They're gonna jump over there. Yep. And this squad is gonna move up here. Yep. Move back after that's done. Mm -hmm. 
Spawanthropes! Psychic beasts. And some uh, gaunts of the uh, Terma kind, the Terminum brood. Uh, psychic face. Yep. Uh, that's four. Where am I rolling your dice? Four plus uh, the uh, one I have. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it's gonna cast um, Unleash Rage on them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use uh, four dice on that. Three successful. Yeah. You wanna dispel with four? Oh, uh, actually, now that you got your uh, Swanthropes, you have five because you have uh, one more than two. Yeah. So you have five. But they're level two. They're level two? Yes, level two broad is. I think it says level two. Do you wanna check? Yeah, we wanna check. I was right! Yep, Brotherhood of Psychers with his own tropes, Master level 2. So mm -hmm. it's a total of 6 dice that you can try to dispel with. You need 3 sixes. Well, what's some of your dice? Oh, you got 3 sixes! Oh, it's your dice! Eh? You bastard! <laughs> Stop the... using my dice. <laughs> well, actually, my dice that you bought. Yeah. So I take no responsibility if they're loaded. Oh. Which they're not. Which they are. <laughs> well, that's your fault. Uh, I'm just going to roll for the run on that unit because they're not going to be shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're going to be rolling, uh, rolling, running five. Yep. Okay, so we move to shooting. We can do that mm -hmm. quickly. Uh, I have uh, five shots down here at the saw and throws. Two, four, five. Threes to hit. Mm -hmm. That is uh, three hits. Uh, so and throws have a toughness of four, so fours to wound. That is one wound, and they have a three plus invulnerable save. Now, invulnerable save means that you get a save regardless, uh, unless there's a special rule that says that you don't get the invulnerable save. So go for it, three plus to save. Uh -huh. Okay, then we have uh, here, we have uh, one flamer that'll uh, get both of them. Mm -hmm. Ah, stop using your eyes. So that's one save. On that one, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six pistols. One hit so far, hitting on threes. So that's six hits in total that you need to save. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, not with join. Wanna give me? Yeah, dice. I want to give you your dice, not it's mine. It's not my dice. It's Swain's dice. Okay, Swain's dice. Here you go. You try that. So that is <laughs> you save all of them. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, these guys, I'm gonna shoot over here. We have none of them are within uh, short range, so mm -hmm. that'll be just six bolter rounds uh, hitting on threes. So that's two miss and killing on threes. So that's three dead. Three closest. So gone. There we go. Yeah. Okay, uh, assault phase, there is an assault. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna move those in and I'm gonna run the stern guard unit five inches and we'll be back. Yeah. So, 21 attacks from my assault marines. Yep. Uh, I include the power weapon because it doesn't really matter because you have the invulnerable save anyway. Mm -hmm. I have weapon skill of four, you have a weapon skill of three. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I'll be hitting you on a three. Whoa! There we go. Decent number of hits. Damn. You have a toughness of four. Yeah. I have a strength of four, but I add plus one because of your furious charge. So I have strength five, so I'm wounding you on a three. Mm -hmm. Slightly above average. As always. There we go. So you. Oh, that one. You have two, four, six, eight, ten saves. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Watch the camera, watch the camera, watch the camera. We've been told to not wiggle the camera around too much. So that's, yeah, that's two. They're dead. They have two wounds each, mm -hmm. so they bite the dust. And in that meantime, you hear a big squeal! So that was the boss creature? the mind is dead. Yes! So, uh, okay. Do you want to conclude it with that? That means... Film me now. Yeah. That <laughs> means that I've completed the mission scenario because I killed the 
uh, synapse creature, the one that's on the, the boss on this table. Big bad boss. Or, or I, squishy boss. Yeah. Or I can try my luck on hunting down uh, the remaining I turning would not units. Suggest that. Uh, that is one <laughs> uh, unit there and two warrior units. One of which is upgraded quite a bit Indeed. for an additional twenty-five points. Mm -hmm. Now I haven't lost anything. Yep. So this would give me, well, this would give me a hundred points to play with. That's for, a lot for, for for the next uh, next game. That's more or than I can I risk have. it. So after considering my options, I decided to call it quits anyway because I did some simple math, not meth, but math, <laughs> because this unit. Uh, it's quite expensive. Some simple math. And a lot of shooting from that unit if I kept going. The additional 25 points that I would have gotten might have been lost by losing two of these. Yeah. Uh, so I'd rather take my 100 points and my free unit upgrade. Ooh, I can buy a Predator and give it last cannons or something like that. That would be fun. Uh, yeah, I get armor if I want. Uh, and call yeah, I'm calling it quits. No losses. 100 points for me. Uh, yeah. The remaining Tyranids, Joachim has been uh, placing them so you can see where they are. The upgraded units, which, uh, Matt, I would have chosen this as my uh, hive. Uh, hive mind, or yeah. the boss creature on this table. The other one, or the other Tyranid unit of Warriors, is over here. This was game two uh, of our Nikara campaign. Can you point for the people where on the map I am? <laughs> yep, that's where I am. Uh, next game will be the Eldar, who's down there. Uh, why don't you live draw what mission they're gonna play? Where is it? It's behind you. That one? In the blue bag that under. One. No. The other blue bag. I'm blind. Under the paper that's right next to you. That one. There. Why don't, oh, you, why don't you pull something out and tell the people what Svein will be playing with Swine. his Eldar? Mm -hmm. No cheating now. That one. Okay. That Open it and show it to the people. No. Yes, hundred, uh, plus 150 ink. Plus 150 points. And three of them must be high guard. High guards, bonus free unit upgrade. Yeah. yeah. So not the worst mission he can get. There could have been a hive tyrant or a carny fix in there. This was you, Akim, the GM for today, and me, the blood angel for today. We have been tabletop battle. Thanks for watching.